Hey y'all, we're out in the rabbit barn today because I want to talk about how I decide when I no longer want to breed a rabbit. Generally speaking, for my does, uh, they have three strikes and then they're out. We have one doe that has hit her third strike. So let's talk about her and her strikes and things that I think are forgivable and then things that just aren't. The doe that I'm talking about is Miss Kate. So here's a quick Kate history lesson. We got Kate bred her the first time and it turned out that buck was sterile. This is the guy that's gotta go. So she didn't have any babies. I bred her again, made a mistake, didn't think she took, and moved her out into pasture. She gave birth without a nesting box. We put her in another bad cage and when the babies got old enough, they hopped out of the nesting box and something got them, all but one. Kate had one more litter. The babies are actually in the grow out pens right now and she has a litter with her right now. The problem with Kate is that she just has small babies. Doesn't matter how many she has. Here you go, honey. It doesn't matter how many she has, they're always really little. I pretty much always breed our rabbits uh, two at a time so that I have a backup mom if something happens. So conveniently, I have babies that were born about 24 hours apart so I can show you exactly how much of a difference I'm talking about when I say Kate has small babies. So this first one is a Kate baby. They're cute. I think they are 15, 15 or 16 days old now. Um, and then this next baby is an Alice baby and it is one day older. How crazy is that? It's, I'll tell you, it's very crazy. Here you go. You can go back to mom. There you go. When you raise rabbits for meat, like we do, um, small, slow-growing babies are not what you want. You want really good feed conversion, you want them to grow fast, you want them to be healthy and strong, and while hers are definitely healthy and happy, um, they're just small, and it takes them a lot longer to get to processing size. Now Alice, on the other hand, has large litters of large babies that grow very fast. The goal is to keep the best. So the best right now are Alice's babies. So that's what I did. I kept one of them in the grow out pen. Her name is Marina and I'll be breeding her this fall. The goal here is to keep the best ones and get rid of the ones we don't like the traits of. So let's talk about some traits that I think are forgivable and ones that I just, I cut them from my herd. The first one is if a mom has a bad litter with you, give her at least one more try. Um, you never know what might have been happening to cause them to not be a good mom. If they had the babies on the wire, maybe they just didn't know any better. Um, if they didn't feed them, you know, there's a whole slew of things it could possibly be. So give them at least one more try. I like to give them two more tries. Um, just just cause, give them some time to mature. Something that I do not tolerate is aggressive does. All of my does I can handle. Kate is eh, she doesn't like it, but she's not going to bite me. We did have a doe that was like that. Her name was Maddie. We called her Mean Maddie. We went ahead and gave her the crock pot cure, which just means we processed her and put her in the freezer. Kate is definitely not the most friendly, but she doesn't lunge at me. She will back away. Doesn't really like it, but she's not gonna try to hurt me. Margo is a whole different story though. Aw, are you cleaning your baby? Margot likes to be pet. She also likes to be held. She used to be someone's pet rabbit, and so she's used to being handled quite a bit. So really, for me, uh, aggression is the only one thing that I'm like, nah, nope, I'm not dealing with it. Uh, and that actually goes for anything on the farm. If I have an aggressive rooster, or a goat buck, or a pig, anything. We don't deal with things that I am afraid of. If I am fearful of an animal, it goes in the freezer. I don't even try to rehome it because I don't want it to hurt somebody else. Almost everything else, I will give them three strikes. And then after that point, depending on what it is, I will cull them certain ways. When people think of the word cull, they generally think of something really negative. Um, but that's not necessarily true. Cull can mean a couple of different things. It could mean that you have to euthanize something, that you have a really injured animal, you have to cull it to put it out of its misery. 
or you could call a breeder because you don't like the way that they're breeding and you put them in the freezer. So there's those, but there's also cull, which just means sell. So I could sell a rabbit that I'm, eh, it's okay, I don't really like the way it's breeding, but maybe somebody else will. Or you can sell it as a pet because you know it's not a good breeder anymore. For Kate back there, as soon as she has weaned the babies that are left on her, I will be culling her from our program. We're not gonna put her in the freezer. She's a nice doe. She has really nice big litters. So we'll just put her up for sale. So that's what's gonna happen with Kate. Uh, she's just gonna be culled from our program as soon as her babies are ready to be weaned. So about three or four more weeks. Now to touch a little bit on bucks. Um, when I decide to cull a buck from a program, it's generally for infertility or for small babies. If you have been around long enough, you'll know that we used to have a different buck. Uh, his name was Doc. He was beautiful, but he was small and his babies were small. So we got bigger and better bucks. The second reason that I was talking about possibly getting rid of a buck is infertility. The important thing for me is that I breed a possibly infertile buck to three different does because if you breed him to the same doe time after time, you don't know if it's your buck or your doe that's causing a problem. Now you could breed her to somebody else and then you know rule that out. But for me, I just like to breed our buck to three different does and if none of them end up pregnant, then he goes in the freezer. So that's how and when I decide to cull a breeder for my program. Uh, it's gonna differ for everybody. There's certain things that I don't like in my rabbits that other people probably do like. Um, but that, you know, it's just preference and this is just what I like to do. If you enjoyed hanging out in our little corner of YouTube today where there are pretty much always baby rabbits, just saying, it's a good selling point, uh, just consider liking, sharing, or commenting down below. Uh, this just tells the YouTube algorithm that you enjoyed this video and that it should show it to other people. And it's a really non-committal way of supporting us. Now, if you feel like committing to us and seeing baby rabbits all the time, uh, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that just means you're gonna get a little pop-up every time we put out a new video. Now, if you would like to get to know us on a little bit more personal of a level, a great way to do that is to check us out on Instagram. I post there on a daily basis. I actually made a post about the size difference in the babies if you want a really up close picture. But if I'm not making an actual post, then I'm updating our stories very regularly. So you can see things as they're happening instead of on YouTube where there's generally a little bit of a delay. So thanks for hanging out in the rabbit barn area with me. Um, oh hey, I did a big whole like warning thing before I did our last butcher video. This is about the meat chickens, which are way over there right now. Um, I will be uploading a processing video about the meat birds, uh, how it went, what we decide about, are we gonna do meat chickens again? Uh, very similar to the pig butchering video, which I'll link up here and down there. But I just wanna give you a little bit of a heads up before I actually post it. There will be a warning on the thumbnail and all that. The same thing I always do, but uh, you know, just prepare yourselves, that is coming. So until we meet again, bye y'all.